Hello, hi, welcome to Joy Fido International. I'm going to say Happy New Year to you because today happens to be the 31st of December 2015. So by the time you'll be watching this, it will be the new year and I'd like to welcome you to 2016. My name is Joy Fido and I'm going to be chatting with you again about exciting things to come for 2016. Welcome on board. Okay, so you notice me wearing all these glittering clothes because it's a celebration time. So I'm dressing, I'm dressing for the part. Now, another exciting thing I wanted to talk about is a big congratulations to all of you, all our subscribers. We finally made it, we've made 100,000 subscribers and over, and we got this award from YouTube which is called the Silver Button Award. Now there's no other person to dedicate this to but to you because with you and us working together, we achieved that amazing goal. Congratulations and thank you so much to all our subscribers for being part of us and working with us to this huge milestone of 100,000 subscribers and exciting things to come for the coming years. So the title of today's topic today is a new beginning for 2016. A new beginning for 2016. Now, why am I so excited about this? It's 2016 and everybody's gonna be out there making resolutions. I wanna start doing this, I wanna start doing that, I wanna stop this, I wanna do that. But as a big thank you to all my subscribers, I'm coming out with this new beginning for 2016 and why am I coming up with this? These are the things that have helped me. You know what I'm like when I'm excited about something, when something really hits me in the deep ends of my heart, I start to think there will be somebody out there who might find this message useful. And that's when I decide, you know what? Today I'm gonna to get out there and sit in front of the camera and start chatting with you. So a new beginning for 2016 is to support all my subscribers to help you change whatever it is that's been blocking your success and your progress. And we're gonna to work together on this to make sure that starting in 2016, we're gonna change all that. And so this is my big thank you to you to work with you and tell you the things that have helped me get to this point in time in my life where I can say, yes, I'm a lot happier, I'm a lot free, I'm a lot ready to deal with the world and face whatever comes. And that's because I've taken on quite a lot and as part of me, you've been watching all our videos. I've shown you books, I've shown you DVDs, I've shown you things I do and I listen to, and I chat with people and I read a lot. And all of this have helped me to become the person I am today. So 50 years down the line, I can happily say to you, I'm a lot more focused, I'm a lot freer. And that's what I wanna share with you today, a new beginning for 2016 for you. Okay, so where do we start from? The other day I was watching a movie and this is a military movie and people are just dying in the movie, shooting and killing everywhere. And things like that touch me and I'm saying to myself, but why? Why is life all about being born only to die in no time? And while I was just thinking aloud and chatting about it, my husband quickly said, yeah, we're just born to die. We wake up, time goes by, we die. And that really hit a nod in my, in my body. We're born to die, so why then do we stress ourselves so much? Why are we not getting anywhere fast? Why are we struggling? Why can't we make sense of the time we have now? And this really then inspired me to come up with this. So if we know, which we all know, if you look around you, you have families, family members who've gone, people you knew, people you started life with. I have loads of them. I mean, I can't count how many people who are really close to me that have just gone. And I question why, why, why? And that's the same with all of us. We're all going to go somewhere at some point in our lives. We're, from the day we're born, we're marking time to when it's going to be over. So. If we know that, why do we not make this extra effort to enjoy the time we have, to 
make the best of what we have now and so if we keep reminding ourselves that the time is ticking the clock is ticking then we need to do what we have to do to make our now exciting to make our now enjoyable to make the best of what we have so these are the kind of things i'm going to be talking about and again thank you to all the people who watch my inspirational videos because i get the responses it changed something in my life it added something to my life it made me see things another way and that's why i keep coming back to give you more because like i always say to you if i don't hear from you if nobody says anything to you then to me then i get the message nobody's listening but if i'm getting good responses thank you thank you it does work it's helping me then i'm inspired to come back with more so we're going to be looking at things like this to see how we can change our 2016 and of course beyond now i'm working with you to tell you the things i've been through and what's helped me and guided me here now of course you've been watching my video so you know i've talked about so much about myself but every day is a new game every day is a new beginning for me and so the more things i learn as i go along my life the more things i want to share with you and one of the things you need to know about life is life is all about the experiences that you have your daily experiences that's what life is so every day something new happens in your life the question then becomes how do you deal with this experience and so the more experiences you encounter the more you're able to overcome them or work with them and level with them the more of a brighter life you have and for me in particular 2015 2015 was a huge turning point for me i rediscovered myself i i i became more aware of who i am of course i turned 50 years this year but maybe that helps me i don't know for some people it's a matter of numbers and that's what years are you you're 50 years old is only a matter of number but if you appreciate it in such a way that it does help you to rediscover or look back into your life and see what you've achieved within this length of time then things begin to add up and for me it really did add up i've experienced so much i've been through so much i've 28 years in africa nigeria 22 years in the uk and all of that experience all came together for me this year and it started me on the path of appreciating myself some more and that's why i think it's important and i share some of the things that's really helped me begin to appreciate me more now everything that we become starts from our mind and i've talked about a few i talked about emotional self a few times in our in our videos our emotion helps to create who we become so if you're hearing things around you and you respond to them how do you respond to these things because for as long as you are alive and living you're going to be around people how do you cope with the emotions that come out of these activities or experiences with people one of the biggest ones for me was blocking out negativity so i'm going to be mentioning topics or you know like smaller topics underneath this whole package that you can break them down into little groups so the first one will be knocking out negativity or blocking out negativity why is that so important your mind being our mind what helps us think and what helps us become who we are and what crazy emotions that we become the mind can only take one thing at a time so many books i read bring that across to me so you're thinking about the one thing at that one time and so you follow that you follow that and what happens is if that one thing was an exciting emotion something that was really great you feel so good about yourself you're happy and things great start to come more more greater things are happening and so you roll with it but if that was something that wasn't that great a negative feeling you're not happy about it 
what happens you get sad the minute you're beginning to feel sad what you then find happens is you get even sadder if there was such a word and you then spiral down now this sadness is an emotion and this emotion of sadness is negative to the human body so what you want to keep doing and this i try every day because it's not one day activity every time when things are beginning to happen to you and they turn out not to be what you are hoping they should be is making you feel down making you feel sad cut it out because your mind can take one thing at a time so if you allow that negative to stay in your head what will happen is you stay stuck in that negative what you want to do is come out every time negative comes in remind yourself be conscious of it and change it immediately bring in positive because when you bring in positive you rise when you encourage negative you drop down and drop down and drop down and that's when negative things continue to happen so snap out negativity so the first one was blocking our negativity second one is believing in yourself now i've said this a few times in our videos and i will keep saying it because i look around me most times and i see it happen all the time even in my training people are so good at what they do sometimes and you say this is amazing they go back are you sure have i done it right does it look good now one message i want you to really get in your way of thinking is if you're a christian person like i am when jesus died and left us he said to us he leaves us with the holy spirit now you're gonna find every day you wake up two voices hang around your your way of thinking your mind one is telling you do this the other is telling you do that the other one's judging you the other one is not judging you now constantly that positive voice that's always encouraging you to do it rightly is the holy spirit so for you to stop believing yourself you're stopping to believe in the god that created you so allow yourself to listen to that inner voice of i don't know how else to put it that voice is so still it's so calm it's so beautiful it tells you the right things all the time and that's when people say instinct that was only I, I just listened to my instinct we all have it every one of us have instincts in us and if you block your instincts how do we block instincts too much noise around us and I know that because of course I have four children and when I'm in their midst and we're screaming and dancing and going crazy I don't hear a thing but the minute I'm quiet for me in particular, when I go into the shower, the voice is as loud as you can imagine because I am all alone and I'm quiet. That's why they say it's still voice of calm. Listen to that voice constantly. When you know something is right for you, it is right for you. When you know something is not right for you, it is not right for you. That's your instinct. That's the Holy Spirit. That's you. There's a bigger person that's you. You're not just this physical person standing here, people are staring at. You are more than that. And that's why I said 2015 empowered me to know the inner me. Listen to your instincts, listen to your Holy Spirit, believe in yourself. If you know something is good about you, follow that path. And I again know lots of people no matter how well you tell them they're doing something right, they still struggle to believe it. Learn to believe in yourself. 2016, no more negativity, no more distrusting yourself. Believe, and you're gonna find your path get smoother as you go along. In the process of my reading and looking at so many articles, I came across something and it was like, what they said was two major things that stop us from progressing in life or succeeding in life and the two things they mentioned was one we 
are constantly worrying about our past. Constantly. Maybe something didn't happen the way you wanted it to happen. You remember we talked about the mind holding one thing at a time. So you fill your mind up constantly with why did I not get it right? Why did that fail? Why did that not work? And I read somewhere, interestingly, somebody said the reason we have eyes in our front is because God never wanted us to keep looking back. That's why he put the eyes in our front so we could be seen forward. So if you spend all your time worrying about something that's past, something that did not happen the way it should have happened, then you're not going to go anywhere fast because you're still worrying about what had gone. It's come and it's gone. You cannot undo the past. That's the reality of our life. The past can never be undone. But the future can be changed and the present can be worked on. So stop worrying about what never happened the way you wanted it to happen and focus, concentrate on what you want to achieve now, what you want to, your future to become. So the number two was we're constantly comparing with other people. Hmm. She has a Mercedes Benz and I have a Micra. I, I don't know where you're watching this, so you probably won't know the cars I'm talking about. Micra is a really small car here in the UK. Oh, she has so many houses and I don't have any. Oh, she travels all over the world and I've not even crossed the major airport in my country. It does not matter. Now what happens is the minute you start comparing yourself with somebody else, nothing is going to improve in your life. Because you're comparing. You're not wishing. You're not saying, I would like to do this for myself. You're not actually putting something into action. And so every time you think and look at somebody and you wish you were them, you haven't changed anything. You haven't put anything into action. Stop comparing. Because Somewhere I read something interesting as well. I, I don't even have that article with me right now, but it was so interesting. Like, um, no matter how much money you have in your bank account, you cannot have more than everybody else. No, how, no matter how many clothes you have, the clothes you think are amazing to somebody is a rag, is a piece of rag. No matter how much shoes you think you have, they don't count in some people's houses. So no matter how many houses you think you have, to some people, they don't count. So at every point in time, there's somebody higher than you in something. So why? Why do you have to worry about that person? Why do you have to compare with that person? Why? By the time you finish comparing with Mr. A, Mr. B comes with higher. Mr. C comes with higher. And so they keep going higher and higher and higher, and you're never going to get to the end of it. So the solution is, snap out. Just be yourself. This has helped me so much. Because deep in my heart, I have a million things going on at every point in time. And I know there are people out there who just think, why, why does she, why does she have, why is she coming up with new ideas every time? You cannot be me, and I can't be you. So. You are absolutely amazing doing the things you do. And so am I doing the things I do. And so is anybody else doing what they do. Now remember, I remind myself every day, we are from one source, one creator. God created all of us. And the unique thing he did was he inscribed in all of us different things. He might make you really great with your hands. He might make you really great with your voice might make you really great with your feet like people who do marathon and athletics and all of that and great footballers they're amazing with their feet and the likes of Beyonce amazing with their voice and I could be sitting behind you and I'm creating amazing hairstyles and obviously doing so many other things which I enjoy doing that's who I am I enjoy it so don't try to imitate and say but I want to have what she has. And I want to have, just rediscover what's in you. Take your time, understand what makes you happiest. And stop comparing. Once you snap out of comparing, your life will be amazing.
this i am telling you for a fact and of course the number three point about things that are really blocking us from progressing we worry too much about what other people think about us i see this in real life is shocking do they think do they think do they think do they think my hair is too short do they think my hair is not sitting well do they think the dress i'm wearing is too skinny is too big do they think i'm fat do they think i'm skinny why do you care what people think of you because trust me if you spend your time worrying about what people think of you you are never going to win you know why there is no way you can satisfy everyone out there and i will be a fine one to talk about this because of the videos we do on youtube and trust me the amount of negativity we get sometimes is mind-blowing and you know what i do now i don't respond to it all i say to everyone who writes negative comments is thank you so much for being part of our business we appreciate your comments what am i gonna gain from reacting or getting angry with someone who chooses to be negative it doesn't contribute anything to my life and so if you are sitting down there worrying about what people are thinking about you you're not going to get anywhere soon because you know what you've given them power the minute you worry about what people think you have you have automatically given that person power over you you know why because the person tells you you know you're right here then you feel good you're not right here then you feel bad do you see how this person is now controlling you? Because if I'm sitting down here responding to everyone who has an issue about what I've done and what I haven't done, I would not be here today. I would have folded up. I mean, Kim Kardashian is a good example. I follow her on Instagram. And each time she throws anything out there, people, millions of people are out there liking, liking. You know what Instagram is like. It's a like. But trust me, then it's time to make a comment. The amount of negative comments this young lady gets is shocking. I mean, thank God I'm sure they don't even get to read these things. Because some of the comments could affect your mind. You know, we talked about the mind having one thing at a time. It could affect your mind so much that you, you don't want to wake up in the morning. You want to lock yourself in and say, that's it, I'll give up. But watch her. She's growing bigger and bigger. Because the more likes you give her, the more she's huge. The more she can do things. The more people can advertise with her, use her to advertise whatever it is because they know your eyeballs are on her. So it's down to you to stop this worrying. What are they thinking? Concentrate on you. What do I think? If you like what you want to wear, wear it. If you love short dresses, wear it. As long as you're not going out there to deliberately upset somebody or annoy somebody do it within limits and you are doing your own you're being you just do you one of my friends says that all the time just do you do you stop worrying about what anyone thinks or what you have done they are not your creator they don't have any right to dictate to you how to live your life the next one d is forgiveness oh my goodness where do we start with forgiveness i've heard long time ago people say oh yeah you have to forgive if someone upset you forgive the bible says it in so many forms and i'm sure so many other religions preach it but do we really practice forgiveness because if we want to even really deal with this and we go back to where I come from being Nigeria. Nigeria happens to be the most church going country in the world. There was a survey once and it was talking about the various countries that are really, really religious. And we were like number one on that religious scale. But you know, when it comes to practicality of religiousness, we fell down below every other country. Why? Because when it comes to reality of life, we may say, yeah, Jesus said, let's do this. And the Bible said, do that. We preach the Bible more than everyone. We carry it everywhere we go. But you should see us in our homes. 
starting with what they call the house girls someone helping you in your home we would typically treat that house girl like that child is an animal like they don't exist now that's just an instance to show you how we really don't follow what our religion is telling us and that's why sometimes for me in particular i am a christian but i practice I practice what I read and that's why I like to share and that's why I like to listen to what the Bible is telling me and that's why I try my best to be as spiritual to me as possible remember that what you are trying to do out there is to forgive people when they've upset you I preach it all the time to my children you see, it's a typical natural human nature. Someone really upset you, they've got to you, that's it, I'm going to deal with them. I'm going to give it back to them. But you know what happens again with the mind, taking one thing at a time. If you don't pull out of that point of anger and cut it out and say, you know what? Yes, they did something really bad. Yes, we cannot undo it, but you know what? I'm not going to even worry about it. Let me let it out. Let me not even worry about this particular issue that has really eaten me this much. And some of my secrets when people have really hurt me, I could just call you out. Not call you out in the sense of, oh, that's it, I will never speak to you. For as long as this thing is still burning in my mind, I'll say, let me not talk to this person. And I just give you a break. You know, like kids in school, they say time out. I give you time out. It helps a lot for me. Time out, go and think about it, clear it out of your head. Forget, holding grudges, which is the next point, is like keeping what they call toxins in your body. So releasing that toxin is what forgiveness is all about. And when you release it, you release your mind to be free. Because when you block your mind with issues, what's happening is you have stopped it from being itself. You have stopped it from being free. And that's not what you want to do. You don't want to stop your mind from being free to achieve results that you are looking for. So what you actually want to do is clean out whatever these issues are and forgive. Because the minute you do that, things change in your life. So the next thing we're looking at after forgiveness, we should have been the other way around is holding grudges. We tend to hold grudges a lot. Again, working with the mind, the minute you engage that mind with something, you justify your actions. You say, this is why I'm so upset with this person. This person did this and did this and did that. That's grudges grudges are poison you know it's like when we eat you know like we we're trying to watch what we eat and there's this big thing about toxins because some foods don't agree with our body and then what happens is the human body will not push that food to the wrong places and then we add weight here and there or we deliberately it will, i won't say deliberately we start adding unnecessary weight lots of us don't understand what's going on it's all about toxins what's happened is we put things that the body cannot handle into our body and then the result is because it cannot deal with it it then pushes it out and it becomes things we are not accustomed to so toxins are not good for us and we can actually toxify our mind that's where grudges comes in and because i'm so aware of these things i look at people and sometimes you see people becoming so unhealthy a lot is happening i can see right from looking into somebody's eyes if this person is really happy inside because sometimes when you smile you smile from your heart because your heart is free it's happy and so the smile is broad and wide but what someone who's not happy and they're trying to smile they pretend they think they're smiling but they're only showing their teeth and that's where the problem is because you've toxified your mind. And if you come from where I come from, Nigeria, where most times we blame everyone around us for our predicament. We 
we we we we toxify our, our mind so much that what happens is we start getting ill headaches sometimes you start hearing high blood pressure because you think so much you're worrying about so many things you develop high blood pressure you develop stroke you develop um hypertension whatever it is all kinds of sicknesses follow you because you have put it all in the mind and when i when i say to people sometimes it's something they call mind over matter people think it's a joke the minute you clear your mind your life becomes free so this is a year to change all that negativity around you stop the grudge start learn to forgive learn to give in learn to just clear your mind and say you know what you may have hurt me so much you may have done the truth is when people upset you so much all you have to do is take on that responsibility that's what i do i say okay it's my fault i put myself in a situation where you could do that to me but you know what i'm not gonna do that again so you learn from it that's the biggest message you can get from any scenario where you're not happy learn from that scenario don't go holding grudges and this is this is another exciting one i do with my daughter a lot because she has a habit of blaming everybody for whatever happens and i say to her but what really happened do you remember being in this scenario did you create any room that made this happen and then when she really looks back she goes yes then i say you see come out of that scenario don't let that happen again don't give room for that to happen again because most times this is what happens to us as a people we tend to think that the other person is thinking like us this is another topic for another day we think that the other person has our way of thinking and so they ought to that's the word ought to they ought to know that what they're doing is wrong they don't know that what they're doing is wrong as far as they're concerned they haven't done anything wrong in some instances yes there are times where people would deliberately do something to hurt you but sometimes people are not even aware that they have hurt you and you know what happens you have carried this grudge and you are holding on to it and you're winding yourself up and your mind is engaged and so all the good things that should be coming to your life is running away from you because you are engaged with this thought in your head so let go let go of grudges forgive have a clearer heart and things will start changing 2016. selfishness is the next one i see this a lot around me because lots of people tend to think that life is only about themselves and so and i i'll I give you another instance where it is so funny selfishness and pettiness this is a very simple example facebook instagram you name it social media and we all have pages there and we all have things there i i make it my business especially for my students i encourage you go and set up a page show what you do let the world see your work let it attract people to come to you and then you see people they are watching you i've seen people circulate messages where they say facebook is somewhere where people people who don't like you are sitting there watching you you don't like this person, but you're just sitting there watching every action they make. I enjoy putting pictures there. I talk about my family when I have to. I do things I, I feel like doing. You see these people, some people call them haters. Uh, if you come from my country, they say bad belly. That is, you're so upset inside you, you, you you're angry. And so they're just sitting there, they're watching everything you do, and they don't say a word. When I see something I like, I say something. If I don't like it, I just ignore it and walk away. Move on. But you have to stop this selfishness. It's not always about you. Learn to embrace other people. Learn to give out. We've talked about this so many times in our videos. There is something out there called the universal law of nature. And this law of nature is law of attraction if you don't give you will not receive it's as simple as that 
And people think give is just going there to buy a present and give somebody and wait till you're giving a present back. No. It's about being free with who you are. Learn to share whatever it is. This is one of my way of sharing. I have things that work for me and I'm here sharing it with you. I don't know how many people are going to watch it, but I know people listening to this, it will help change things in their life. So learn to share, learn to stop the selfishness. It's not always about you. There are times you have to let go and allow other people into your life. Embrace other people. Embrace other cultures. I mean, I, I work with so many people across board, various cultures, various races. And I notice I do things and some people will choose to ignore me. But I'm there chatting with you all the time and I'm there, you know, encouraging you, supporting you. And then it's as if I don't count. Unfortunately, you don't get it that other people feel these things too. So if you want to be loved, you have to love. Don't sit there and think that, yeah, you're gonna be this Miss Cool or Mr. Cool. Keep yourself to yourself and then expect the whole world to be knocking down your door showing how much they love you. You have to show love for people to love you back. It's give and take. You don't give, don't expect anything in return. But of course there are times you give like Jesus did. He gave all the time and people were still not loving Jesus, but that's because he was God's child and he, he never really cared about if people loved him back or not. That's where we should be. You love me back, it doesn't matter. You, love, you don't love me, it doesn't matter. But there are people out there who sit and wait to be loved. Hence, we're talking about what people think about you. And then when people don't think anything about you because you don't think anything about other people, you get angry and you hold down your life. Come out of it. Stop the selfishness. Right next to that is remembering to be appreciative of other people. So selfish is where you're thinking about just yourself, but then on the other hand, you could be, oh yeah, I'm not selfish. I don't, I don't do anything to anyone. I just, I just mind my business. Oh yeah, keep minding your business. I don't say anything to anyone. I don't expect people to say things to you. Now, if you find someone around you is excelling, is achieving, it's only normal for you to say, wow, I'm so proud of this thing you're doing. Well done, keep it up. And if you say that and you say, but could you give me tips as well? How did you achieve that? They'll be so excited to share with you. But if you're just sitting at home and hating them, Oh, look at her, every day she's wearing new clothes, she's driving new cars, she lives in a big house. You just hate it. Do you think they're going to wake up one morning and remember you? So you have to appreciate, learn to appreciate other people. If things, good things are happening to them, support them. Be there for them. Because when you're there for them, love, nature, uh, love, attraction, nature's love, attraction, will attract good things to you as well. So when you appreciate people will remember to appreciate you. And another one is some people are so weird, like if they give them presents or someone's so kind and coming to give them something, oh, thank, thank you, grudgingly from under their breath because they were expecting more. You start with something. No matter how small, whatever it is somebody gives you, learn to say a very big warm thank you. Thank you so much. Like we started this program, I said thank you so much to all our subscribers. Thank you so much. Because as I'm saying thank you, the law of attraction is hearing me. It says, oh, she actually likes subscribers. Okay, I'll give her more people who subscribe. The same thing across the, the world. Someone gives you a pin and you say a big thank you. He goes, really? She likes that pin. Okay, I'll give her something bigger next time. Now when they give you something, huh? Learn to appreciate, learn to, when people are aspiring for great things, support them. When people are doing great, support them. When things are down, be there for people. Just generally be there for people and you are going to see how you attract people who will be there for you. So don't close yourself in all the time and expect things to just happen out of the blues. 
and of course the next one that really really has helped me is being prayerful prayerful is walking with your spirit remember we said love yourself we said believe in yourself we said listen to this small voice that talks to us being prayerful is about talking to your God constantly so it doesn't matter what religion you belong to remember to speak to God all the time you know why God lives in us there are people who don't want to hear that but God lives in us and what's so funny is there are people out there when things are extremely tough when negative has happened then they suddenly remember oh but God where are you remember him when he's good remember him when he's bad remember him at all times speak to him constantly he is inside you that's why you're living so the reason you live is because the spirit is in you people don't want to hear this unfortunately there's no other way I can explain this to you speak to him at all times he knows he is your beginning and your end he created you even before he knew your end even before he created you so there's no other person to run to to tell that things are not working the way I'm hoping they should work. Speak to God constantly and your situation will be good. God has great things in store for all of us. I mean, bad things happen out there, but he knows why he created you. And things start to go wrong when you deviate from his path. So if you keep talking to him and hand over you to him, because that's the one unique thing that made humans different from the other creations of God. The ability to make that choice. And lots of us choose not to. But when you choose to and listen to him, because he speaks to you with that small voice, your path will be a lot clearer. 2016 should be clear for you. Okay, so we're going to finish our discussion with a passage from the Bible. This is the Holy Bible. And this story about is about Joseph. So go into your Bible if you are a Christian and read from Genesis 37. It carries on up till 41. I found this story very interesting about Joseph. Joseph was one of the children of Jacob. And somehow was best loved by his father. His father had so many children. And he used to have lots of dreams as a child. He kept dreaming different things happening in the family. And his brothers found that really annoying. And what did they do? Um, in the end, they conspired and actually sold him off. They sold him off to some merchants who them eventually took him to Egypt. But you see, what was intriguing about this story is when Joseph was going through these difficult times, when he now became a servant in the house of Pharaoh's officer, eventually was living life there, and then from there ended up in prison because the officer's wife was attracted to him and wanted her, and wanted him to sleep with her, and she, he refused, so he got in prison, and after that, his life changed. So this long story really touched my heart. And you know why? So many of us are in this scenario now where we think things are so hard. And it's the same thing I'm talking about. He already knew your end before he created you. In the end, Joseph was actually meant to be. He eventually became next to Pharaoh. He was the next in command to Pharaoh. Now, who would have thought that this child, dreaming, being thrown in the pit and eventually sold off, was going to end up in such a position in life? No matter the situation you're going through right now, don't think this is the end of it. I've had people say to me, I came from a really poor beginning and my life was this way and that way. I came from a poor beginning as well. The whole honest truth is, it does not matter how poor your beginning was, as in the case of Joseph. 
It does not matter how sad it was. Your brother's throwing you in the pit. Your brother's hating you, grud begrudging you, doing ridiculous things to you. I have so many stories of stepmoms being so horrible and, and uh, um, sister-in-laws being so horrible. I experienced all of that. But today I am me. Now what you never know sometimes is all those things happening to you are preparing you for bigger things. So when things are so bad sometimes, don't give in. Don't say, that's it. That's how my God wanted my life to be. That's not how your God wanted your life to be. Joseph could have given up in the pit. He could have given up at the point he was a, a slave to a servant to, to this man, uh, Pharaoh's, Pharaoh's uh, uh, officer. He never gave up. He believed in his God. He was prayerful to the end. He talked to God every day. And where did he end up? He was now the second in command to Pharaoh in the whole of Egypt. So that could be your story. So don't give in. 2016 is a brand new year for us all to start. Believe in yourself. Be prayerful. Forgive. Don't hold grudges. And so many more things we've talked about today. I want you to enjoy your life. I, that's my prayer for you. Enjoy life. And you know what? We only have one opportunity. We only have one chance of living this life. And the other day I was reading something interesting saying we walk to live. But then why do we kill ourselves walking? That's something worth listening to or, or thinking about. Because we're struggling so hard to make daily, daily ends or daily bread. We kill ourselves in the process. Again, we're born to die. But that doesn't mean you should kill yourself in the process of trying to live. So remember, every opportunity that you have to be happy and have fun and be out there, please relax yourself and enjoy your life. And of course, by working with your God. So I'm going to wish you the very best for 2016. I want to hear people tell me how this has helped them, how things have changed for them. Email me joy at worldofbraiding.com just talk to me send me messages follow me on instagram i throw out things when i see things i like facebook i'm always out there doing things joy fido and of course we have so many pages on facebook and there's so many more that's coming up this year i want you to stay tuned and subscribe because there's so much coming your way. Like we said, 100,000 subscribers, we are excited because we know we're doing something that's touching your life and we're gonna do more. So enjoy your life, have fun, and we'll see you in the next video.